Hey there. You are watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today I am here with the second part of the Kathy Rain demo. Kathy Rain is a game which is coming out on Steam on May 5th, and I have been given access to the game by the developers Clifftop Games and the publishers Raw Theory, as well as uh, also want to graciously thank David Martinez as well, too, for the copy of this demo to bring here to the channel for you. So Kathy Rain is set in the 1990s and it is set in a four by three aspect ratio, which is why the uh, video is small on the screen. That is intentional. Um, the developers wanted to give us the full 1995 experience. So this is a mystery in which uh, Kathy is finding herself embroiled in small town shenanigans when she comes home for her grandpa Rain's birthday. Kathy is also a badass, awesome woman who rides a Harley. What's not to love? Let's find out what's in the attic. I should probably ask grandma first. Really? So much for being a badass rebel woman? You can ask your grandma, hey grandma, can I go upstairs? All right, fine. <laughs> oh, hello, dear. Hey, Grams. Mind if we talk for a bit, grandma? Not at all, dear, what's on your mind? So, uh, why are we going into the attic? Well, we found evidence that lets us know that there may be information about Grandpa's death, which was very mysterious, or, well, his accident, the incident in 81, and his recent death. Would you mind if I took a look in the attic? I suppose it would do no harm. Come with me. Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome, dear. Be careful now. Hey, make us some cookies, Grandma. Thanks. So, you can, uh, in this game, it's a point-and-click game. This may also remind you of games like Blackwell Epiphany. And it just so happens that Dave Gilbert, who is one of the developers at uh, YGDI Games, who made Blackwell Epiphany, is also involved in this game as well, too, particularly with the, uh, uh, the voice acting. Okay, so we have a light switch and a light bulb. Light switch. Nothing. The bulb must be burned out. Perfect. Light bulb? The bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. Great. All right. Well, let's do that then. The bulb looks can... burned out. I'll have to replace it. I was wondering if I could take it, but I guess I can't. All right. Uh, well, uh, let's see if there's a bulb downstairs that we can borrow. A lamp on the ceiling. Nothing special about it. We could probably take the bulb from there and it probably won't Not let us. Horrible idea, but yeah, can't reach it. exactly. Besides, that light bulb looks like it wouldn't fit. Exactly. So we'll need to do uh, the table lamp here. Nobody's using that. Free light bulb. Score. <laughs> Back upstairs we go. One thing, I am double clicking to kind of make the transitions quicker. And, uh, the bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. Looks like we're going to have to go into our inventory. Our little pack down here will show us that we have a light bulb. Let's, I love it. Let's think about the light bulb. You know what would be really cool is if we click on this and then a little light bulb comes up over our head. Don't, don't disappoint me. Don't disappoint me. Come on, developers. this was a case of Dog southern kleptomania, or I actually have a good use for this thing. Aw, oh, man. I'm so disappointed. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's see if the light switch now works. And Grandpa's place. Okay. A teddy bear. Maybe that's Mr. Kathy's. Bear. Oh, yeah. How did you get all the way up there? Good idea. Uh, you just keep watch. I'll do the searching. Aw, Mr. Beal. It'd be so awesome if we could just hold Mr. Bear. We could put him in his inventory and in the inventory. And then 
when Kathy is idle like she is right now, occasionally she'd just take out Mr. Bear and hug him and kiss him and say, Who's your good Bear? Who's your good Bear? Who is? <laughs> okay, that'd be cool. <laughs> A thick book about math. Don't know if we want to take that. Typewriter. Yes, we do want to take it. Can we combine the math book? Read the math book. Secrets of infinite numbers. Cool. Yellow bookmark, blue bookmark, red bookmark. Huh. Pi. 3.1415 uh, or 159. Oh, the Fibonacci numbers. I love Fibonacci numbers. And the prime numbers. I smell a puzzle coming up. And I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Because <laughs> I hate puzzles. Various books and office supplies. Nothing in particular catches the eye. There's a typewriter here. Typewriter covered in cobwebs. Papers. Just some old bills. Nothing interesting. A briefcase. Yeah, what I cut, I called it. Called it. I smell a puzzle coming. Press button. One. One. Nine. Okay, so what? I bet it has to do with that math book. See that math book. Has yellow, blue, and red bookmarks. The only thing I can think of is here in the last episode we listened to the dictaphone. Let's listen to it again. Or not? Do I have to rewind? Do I really have to rewind? How cool is that? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay, let's Focus see. Yeah. Remember, the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. Huh. Three red, one blue, two yellow. Three red. So do we take the first three numbers? Or is it number three? No, three, three, one, and two equals six. And there are six numbers on that briefcase. So I'm guessing we have to take the first three numbers, two, three, five, one, one blue, two, three, five, one, is the first one and yellow is um two the first two numbers so two two five what was that again two three five one two three five one three one two three five one three one let's see if that's wrong i'm gonna be highly irritated Two, three, five, one, three, one. Yes. Ha ha! <laughs> a leather briefcase sealed by a combination lock. I don't know why I even ask her to look at it sometimes. She just says the same thing we can see. Ooh. Envelope. A thick yellow envelope. All right, I'm going to stop pushing that and just pick it up. Will it let us take anything else? Nope, just the envelope. Looks like a map, some other things. Let's look at that envelope right away. This is so cool, sleuthing. Let's see what's in here. 
And just like that, a detective is born. Ha 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 That's awesome. Continue the adventure on May 5th, 2016, when Kathy Rain releases. KathyRainGame.com. Thanks for playing. So, um, this episode is a bit short, but the first episode, I wasn't unsure how much longer we had to go. So, um, I decided to split this into two parts. So this is a short part, but, um, it says we can press any key to restart. Ah, that takes us back to the first screen of Kathy Rain. So that's it. That's Kathy Rain um, coming out on Steam on May 5th, May 5th, which is, uh... May 5th is uh, Thursday. So coming out on Thursday on May 5th. And it is, uh, I want to thank once again, uh, the developers and publishers uh, of this game, as well as David Martinez for giving me access to the demo so that I could highlight it here on the channel for you. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of Kathy Rain, if you enjoyed it. Um, if you're planning on dropping in and getting this game, if you are a Blackwell Epiphany fan, um, a fan of games like this, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. I would appreciate that. And if you, if you really like this, please hit the thumbs up button below. And if you loved it, join the party and subscribe. I'll see you back here on the channel for more first looks at first, <laughs> first looks, first looks <laughs> at awesome games that are coming out. And as always, thank you so much for watching.